I have been hearing about LMR SDR during discussions among home brewers for the past few days on 40 meter. Thought of learning a bit about it and my web searches told me that some of the persons behind the development of LMR SDR are Yangi Echo 3 Charlie India Foxtrot, Uniform Tango 3 Mike Kilo and Foxtrot 5 November Papa Victor. F5 and PV has given detailed descriptions about homebrewing LMR SDR on its web page, including videos. Even though I did look at the pages of YE3CIF and UT3MK, they seem to be in regional languages. I could not find the expansion of LMR on those pages though I presume that it would stand for LAN mobile radio. LMR cables which many of us use were initially designed for LAN mobile radio. SDR stands for software defined radio like my FT710 which uses software to do many of the functions done by hardware in the conventional superheterodyne radio receiver. It is interesting to note that LMR SDR covers from 160 to 10 meter band that is the whole amateur radio HF bands. There are a few friends in my region also who are homebrewing LMR SDR though I am yet to venture into it. It uses Arduino Nano microprocessor like the Bitex QRP radios popular in this region. The clock or frequency generator used is SI5351. SI5351 is a programmable clock generator which can generate up to 8 independent frequencies and operates on fixed crystal of 25 or 27 MHz. Frequency multipliers and dividers are used to generate the frequency of your choice with the programmable algorithm. Product listed online in this region can cover from 8 kHz to 160 MHz and cost only around 300 INR, 3.56 US dollars. LMR SDR designed by FI and PV uses only 5 integrated circuits and 5 transistors. Output in the FI and PV design is 0.1 to 50 milliwatt. 30 watt amplifier is used along with it to provide a decent signal on the band. The amplifier is fed by a class A amplifier providing an output of about 1 watt. Power SDR and expert SDR softwares can be used. The VFO variable frequency oscillator can be controlled from the power SDR. A computer and sound card are needed for the operation of the LMR SDR. A nice waterfall display can be seen in the computer just as I see in my FT710 though the configuration is different. Maybe after a little more learning experience I might venture into LMR SDR because one of the persons trying it out in my region is VU3 Golf Echo X-Ray located at just about 2 kilometers from my place.